And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. A game came out on Kickstart called You Are the Maniac, and there was some controversy about that because that game seems like a direct copy of an older game called Guillotine. Guillotine is an older game from Wizards of the Coast, which I've had for a long time, uh, probably a decade, more than a decade, uh, I've had Guillotine, uh, in which you're trying to chop off as many people's heads as possible. That seems a bit gruesome. I guess seems is kind of a mild word there. Uh, Guillotine was also brought to my attention because it was designed by Paul Peterson, who, you know, we don't really talk about his designs, but he just came out this year with the Smash Up, which was a, if you excuse me, a smash hit from AEG Games. So I thought it'd be interesting to take a look back at Guillotine and see, why do I still have this game? Let's take a look at it. Guillotine requires a good chunk of the table. The, the, the game takes place over three days, and each of three days you're going to draw 12 people and line them up at the guillotine, uh, which is this little cardboard thing. You can set it, you know, you'll set it on one side. It actually has uh, a stand so that when you put it out, it will stand up. So I can put it right there, and it will stand there as people come and march their way. So we can see the colonel is the first person up. Now everyone's gonna have a handful of action cards. And on your turn, you may play an action card, you don't have to. You will then take whoever's in the front of the line and put them in front of you. You have beheaded that person. You're all rival executioners trying to uh, behead the most valuable people. The number of points on the barrel is how much they're worth. And then you draw an action card, whether you played one or not. Now you can see that these people here have different point values as we go by. And you can see that there's a martyr who's worth minus one. So you don't really want to kill her. Why well, look at that archbishop all the way down. And then these guys have special abilities. When uh, you, the Lord, when you collect the Lord, you draw an extra action card. And when you take the, the captain of the guard, we add another one. And then the palace guards themselves are worth one point per palace guard that you have. So one is worth one point, but if you get two palace guards, it's four points, three palace guards, nine points, etc. Now, the whole focus of this game, though, is using the action cards. You're going to use different action cards to manipulate the game. So let's take a look at some of these action cards. This one here says, move any noble to the front of the line. So you would play that. Let's say it was my turn. I'd play that, put the archbishop in the front of the line, and then off with his head. And then the line moves up like that. Or maybe this one here, which says move a noble exactly forward exactly three places in line. Well, that doesn't seem like it's going to help me very well, but so I don't know if I'd play that. Or here's one that says move a noble forward four places in line. Or move a noble backwards up to two places in line. Or move a green noble forward up to two places in line, etc. Here I could put a card in front of me. This card is worth plus one for every blue noble I have. Well, that'd be a good one to play because I have the archbishop now. Uh, here's missing heads. Choose a player. That player loses a random noble from his or her score pile. Here's fountain of blood. That's not very happy, but put in front of you, it's worth two points. Here's miss. Choose a player. They have to put the last person they collect it at the end of the line. Military support, plus one for every red card. Collect an extra noble. Well, that would be good for the next person because that person would take the, the colonel and the bad nun. That's worth six points. Here's the long walk. Reverse the order of the line. So you just simply take the guillotine and place it at the other end of the line. Um, so, and that's just a smattering of the cards that are in this deck. There's all sorts of cards that are in the action deck. I mean, I'm not going to go over all of them, but they all have different artwork. It's all funny, you know, French artwork and different cards. Well, most of the cards have something to do with moving the people around, but there's plenty of others too. There's also quite a few different people in the deck. The most point-worthy ones are the Cardinal Marie Antoinette and King Louis the uh, 16th. But there's also like the hero of the people, he's minus three. The countess, who's only two, but if you, and the count are only two, but if you have both of them, then they're each worth four. The clown, who's minus two, but when you take him, you put him in front of somebody else. Master spy. And you can see there's all sorts of people 
that are in this game and you're just trying to offer as many of them as you can. So once all 12 of these people are gone, or more, because action cards will bring out more, then the day is over, we put out 12 more, we start again and we go. After three days, you add up the points in front of you and whoever has the most is the winner. Let me be clear, the guillotine is an awful thing. It really is. <laughs> I mean, it was a terrible device uh, that was basically made to uh, make executions swift and quick and it came apart in a very dark part of our history. And yet, here we have a game that we're kind of making fun of it. I would not judge anybody who looked at this, played the game, and said, you know what, I don't like this theme, and that makes sense. Why can I stomach it when there might be other similar themes that would bother me? I think for one, because this was so long ago, and it's so cartoony that it doesn't bother me as much. Maybe it should, but uh, I don't know. That, that theme is there, so be forewarned. Now, taking the theme out, what about the game? The game is just quick and fun. It really is. It's just a fast, simple game. You're rearranging the line. That's all you're doing. Rearrange the line. Here they come. Kill, 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 kill. Put them in front of you. Put them in front of you. Someone always tries to get all the palace guards because you get several palace guards, you can get a lot of points. 16 points if you have four of them. That's a huge amount. Then get the plus one for every red card and now it's up to 20 points. That's a big deal. Um, other people just go for big ones. Other people just try to manipulate the line and get different colors. And some people, I don't know what they do. But it's fun. But at the same time, you have to realize that with all the action cards that people are throwing all over the place all the time, any best laid plans that you might have just might not work. This is not a game that when it's over, you're like, oh, I had such a good strategy, but I lost. Nah, you're just playing it to play it. It's simple, fun, and as far as I can tell, it's so quite a few copies. It says here on the box, 30 minutes, which I think is is reasonable, two to five players, and five players works real fine. It's not a game where you sit around and think, oh, it's taking so long for my turn. No, it's real fast. You can play an action card, then collect the first guy. So boom, 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 boom. The action cards have a decent amount of text on, but once you know what they're doing, it's pretty fast. There's nothing complicated, not a lot of rules. Well, what does that card mean? No, just try to get those people up in line, get the high points, ignore the martyrs and the hero of the people, and uh, get as many heads as you can. Uh, so in this game, I suppose you try to get ahead. And oh, that was pretty lame. So Guillotine, it, for some reason, this game just was incredibly popular when it came out. I don't see it sold as much nowadays, although apparently you will now be able to buy it in the form of You Are the Maniac. I hope they, uh, well, anyhow. Uh, but it's there. That's what Guillotine is. And if you ever get a chance to play it, give it a whirl. See if you like it. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find the latest board game news at Dicetowernews.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Fun Again Games, the world's best game source. Fun Again Games has over 5,000 games available. Check them out at funagain.com. Shut the door! That's right. Shut it. Yeah. Yeah.